Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang centroid of a plane area. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang another application ulit ng integral calculus which is yung paghanap ng centroid of a plane area. So, ano ba ang centroid? So, from the word itself, centroid, parang center, siya yung point doon sa area kung saan siya yung consider na parang center nung region na yon, yung plane area. Or kung baga kung meron tayong solid, siya yung magiging point ng center of gravity kung saan magiging concentrated yung weight. Okay? So, Kung meron tayong defined figures, for example, rectangle, square, triangle, madali lang natin mahanap yung centroid kasi meron tayong direct formula or by observation, madali natin mahanap yung center. For example, kapag meron tayong rectangle, so yung kalahati nitong length, tapos yung kalahati nitong width, yung intersection nun, siya na yung center or centroid ng ating figure. Pero kapag meron tayong region or area, Particularly, defined by an equation of a curve. So, let's say, meron tayong regions na nababaw ng dalawang curves at hinanap natin yung centroid nung area na yon. This time, gagamitin na natin yung integral calculus, which is the application of definite integral. Okay? So, hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about finding the area of plane region bounded by curves is ilalink ko na lang para ma-check nyo kasi i-apply natin yung concept na yun dito sa formula natin para mas maintindihan nyo yung gagamitin nating formula. Okay? So, just like doon sa paghanap ng area bounded by curves, ay meron tayong two cases, right? Using vertical strip at horizontal strip. So, horizontal strip. Ganun din sa paghanap ng centroid of a plane area. So, depende sa atin kung saan tayo mas magiging convenient. Depende sa case doon sa given sa curve or yun sa expression ng ating functions. Let's say, kung mas madaling isolve yung y in terms of x explicitly or x explicitly in terms of y. So, marami rin tayong choices. So, meron lang ako ditong same figure. Yun nga lang, magkaiba yung strip na ginamit. So, using vertical strip, so, same lang din yung concept. So, meron tayong dalawang bounding curves, yung f of x saka g of x. So, meron tayong y upper, g of x saka y lower f of x. Kasi laging mas mataas yung g of x sa f of x throughout this region. Tapos, yung intersection ng dalawang region is from x1 to x2. So, so kapag vertical strip tayo, right, kailangan yung ating limits ng integration is yung x-coordinate ng points of intersection or yung limits, okay? So, dito sa figure natin using vertical strip, meron tayong centroid which is represented by this point with coordinate x bar, comma, y bar. So, ito yung center ng area. Tapos, doon sa differential dx natin, meron tayong tinatawag na x sub c tsaka y sub c. Parang siya yung center nitong differential dx natin. Now, ito na ngayon yung formula natin for finding the coordinate ng ating centroid. So, for x bar, o yung x coordinate, equal siya sa integral ng x sub c dA from x1 to x2 over A at yung y coordinate y bar is equal to the integral of y sub c dA from x sub 1 to x sub 2 over A. So, ano na ba yung mga variable na to? So, meron tayong definition. So, where daw dA is equal to g of x minus f of x dx or y upper minus y lower dx. Okay? So, same concept lang sa paghanap ng area, right? Kapag naghanap tayo ng area, y upper minus y lower times dx. Tapos yung limit ng integration natin is from x1 to x2. So, yung A natin is area of the enclosed region. So, ito. So, apply natin yung natutunan nating formula doon sa video ko about finding area of region bounded by curves, which is this one then, right? Integral of g of x minus, minus f of x dx from x1 to x2 or integral of y upper minus y lower dx from x1 to x2. Okay? Now, ito na yung ating formula for x sub c tsaka y sub c. So, kapag vertical strip tayo, lagi ang ating x sub c is equal to x. Okay? Tapos, kapag 
y sub c naman equal siya sa y upper plus y lower over 2. Okay? So, ito ay kung gagamitin natin is uniformly vertical strip sa paghanap ng x bar tsaka y bar. Okay? Now, kapag horizontal strip naman, so same figure lang din, this time meron lang akong horizontal strip. Okay? Now, yung centroid pa rin is x bar, comma y bar. This time, ang gagamitin natin lower at upper limit ay from the point y, y sub 1 to y sub 2. Okay? Kasi nga, naka-horizontal strip tayo. So, yung differential natin is dy. Okay? So, this time, meron tayong f of y tsaka g of y. Dapat nakasolve this time yung x in terms of y. Or g of y is x right and f of y is x left. Kasi yung g of y is lagging to the right nitong f of y. Okay? Tapos, meron din tayong uh, center nung ating consider differential dy. Yung x sub c tsaka y sub c. Okay, so ang formula naman natin, kung throughout the process, gagamit tayo ng differential dy or horizontal strip, x bar is equal to integral of x sub c dA from y sub 1 to y sub 2 over A, and y bar is equal to integral of y sub c dA from y sub 1 to y sub 2 over A. Where, so, mapansin nyo, almost same sila, pero yung mga difference is, makikita natin dito, Yung dA this time is dahil nga horizontal strip, g of y minus f of y dy, or dA is equal to x right minus x left dy. Parang din dun sa video ko about plane areas. Then A also is the area of the enclosed region, so itong violet. So equal din siya dito sa integral of g of y minus f of y dy, y sub 1 to y sub 2, or integral of x right minus x left dy from y sub 1 to y sub 2. So, this time, dapat in terms of phi lahat ng ating variables. Okay? Now, ito rin yung main difference kapag horizontal strip, ang x sub c natin, this time, equal siya sa x right plus x left over 2. Tapos, yung y sub c is simply y. Okay? So, again, itong dalawang formula na to is depende kung anong mas madaling i-apply. Base kung... Madali bang isolve yung function explicitly in terms of x or in terms of y? Or ano yung mas madaling i-integrate? Okay, so pwede nyo rin itong ipag-mix. So, halimbawa, gumamit kayo sa x bar nito. Tapos, same figure, gamitin nyo naman yung y bar as this. This formula instead of this. Pwede rin, or the other way around. So, same lang din magiging sagot nyo doon. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung formula for finding the centroid of a plane area, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, for the first one, we have, find the centroid of the first quadrant region bounded by the curve y squared equals 4x, the y-axis, and the lines y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. Okay, so, ito yung illustration natin. So, mali lang naman i-graph, meron lang tayong parabola, tsaka, horizontal lines na y is equal to 2 to y is equal to 4. Tapos, yung region na nababound nito is itong portion na to, together with the y-axis. Okay? So, ito yung hahanapan natin ng centroid, which is obviously irregular region, right? So, apply natin ngayon yung formula for the centroid. So, hanapin natin yung x bar tsaka y bar. So, gamit na lang tayo ng horizontal strip. Since, Yung ating limit is, meron tayong y equals 2 to y is equal to 4. So, let's say, gamit tayo ng horizontal strip dy. So, meron tayong center nitong horizontal strip na yc tsaka xc. Okay? So, yung formula natin for x bar is integral of xc dA from y1 to y2 over a. Assuming... Throughout the process, gagamit tayo ng differential dy, ha? Ah. Tapos, yung y bar is equal to integral of y c dA from y1 to y2 over a. So, paraho yung a natin dito. So, hanapin muna natin yung area, yung a. Using uli, horizontal strip. So, formula natin is x right minus x left dy from y1 to y2. So, base dito sa figure, ano yung x right natin? Itong parabola, right? So, dapat nakasolve yung equation na to for x explicitly in terms of y. So, divide lang natin both sides by 4. So, therefore, x is equal to y squared over 4. So, siya si x right. Ano si x left? Ito, yung y 
axis or yung equation niya is x is equal to 0, right? So, pag sinubstitute natin, so x right is y squared minus 4 minus x left which is 0 or kahit wala na, right? Times dy, then yung limit nga is from 2 to 4. 2 to 4. So, mali lang to integrate power formula. Sa so, integral ng y squared over 4 dy is y to the third over 3, right? Tapos may 4 pa sa so times 4. So, parang y cube over 12, right? And then, evaluate from the lower upper limit na 2 tsaka 4. So, substitute yung 4. 4 cube over 12 minus substitute yung 2. 2 cube over 12. So, ilan to? 64 over 12 minus 8 over 12 or 64 minus 8. 56 over 12, right? Or, in lowest term, KCF is 4. So, 14 over 3. Right? So, ito yung area. Okay. So, dito naman tayo sa X bar muna. Hanapin natin itong pinaka-numerator. So, X bar now is equal to integral. So, yung X natin kapag horizontal strip, ano? X right plus X left over 2. Right? Ito. So, therefore, ano yung x right? y squared over 4 plus ano x left? 0. Or kahit wala na. Divided by 2. Okay? Ano naman yung dA? So, same lang dito dapat sa x right minus x left dy. So, ano ba yun kanina? Ito lang yun, di ba? Yung y squared over 4. Then, dy... Then, yung lower upper limit is same lang na 2 to 4. So, therefore, ilan to? So, parang y squared over 4 all over 2 is y squared over 8 times y squared over 4. So, y to the 4 over 8 times 4, 32. So, integral from 2 to 4. So, ito ay power formula lang then We have integral ng y to the 4. So, 1 over 32 times y to the 5th over 5, right? Evaluated from 2 to 4. So, 1 over 32, substitute yung 4 sa y. So, 4 to the 5th over 5 minus 1 over 32 times substitute yung 2 sa y times 2 to the 5th over 5. So, using calculator, ilan nito? Direct nyo na sa calc. 31 over 5. So, therefore, ang x bar pala natin is equal siya sa 31 over 5 divided by yung nakuha nating area na 14 over 3. So, ilan yan? 93 over 70. So, ito si x bar. Now, si y bar, y bar is equal to, yung numerator niya is, so, ang formula natin sa yc is simply y right, tapos, same da. So, y times, ano ba yung dA natin kanina? Ito. y squared over 4 dy from 2 to 4. So, equal siya sa y cubed over 4 dy from 2 to 4. So, power formula, 1 fourth y to the 4th over 4, right? Evaluated from 2 to 4. So, substitute yung 4, 1 fourth 4 to the 4th over 4 minus substitute yung 2, 1 fourth, 2 to the 4th over 4. So, simplify natin. Ilan to using calculator? 15. So, therefore, ang y bar natin is equal to, yung numerator is 15 over a, which is 14 over 3. 14 over 3. So, 15 over 14 over 3 is equal to what? 45 over 14. So, therefore, yung centroid natin is at 93 over 70, 45 over 14. Okay? Next, we have, find the centroid of the region bounded by the curves y is equal to x squared and y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, so this time, meron tayong two curves na yung isa is parabola tapos yung isa is align. So, hindi ko pa nag-graph. Sige, graph natin. Pero hanapin muna natin yung intersection nitong dalawang curves. 
So, dahil para silang nakasolve for y, equate natin. So, x squared is equal to 2x plus 3. So, x squared, transpose ko na lang itong 2x saka 3, minus 2x minus 3 equal 0. So, quadratic equation. Solve natin yung x. Factor na lang natin. Factorable na minus x plus 1 times x minus 3, right? Equal 0. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 3, equating each factor to 0. So, therefore, kung x is equal to negative 1, using this equation, y is equal to x squared, ano yung y coordinate? y is equal to negative 1 squared or positive 1. So, meron tayong point na negative 1, comma 1. At using naman, x is equal to 3, substitute, y is equal to 3 squared, y is equal to 9. So, meron tayong other point na 3,9. So, saan yun dito? So, negative 1, comma 1. Negative 1, comma 1 dito. Tapos, 3, comma 9. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Dito. So, using these two points, pwede nating ma-plot yung line. Okay, so ito yung line na y is equal to 2x plus 3. And then, yung parabola, madali lang naman, y is equal to x squared. So, ito yung vertex, origin, itong point na to, kabilang, then ito rin. Then, dapat itong point kabilang, so symmetrical din, dapat meron ding counterpart dito sa kabila. So, pag kinunek natin, approximately, ito yung ating curve. So, yung nababound na region is, pag sinaid natin, is ito. So, ito yung hanapan natin ng centroid. Okay? So, try naman natin this time gumamit ng vertical strip dx. So, dapat meron din tayong center nitong considered vertical strip with coordinate yc, xc. Okay? So, ang formula natin is x bar is equal to the integral of xc dA from x1 to x2 over a. And y bar is equal to the integral of y c d a from y1 to y2 over a. So, hanapin muna natin ulit itong a using vertical strip na rin. So, ang area natin is equal to the integral of y upper minus y lower dx from x1 to x2. So, ano yung y upper? Obviously, itong line, right? So, 2x plus 3. Ano yung y lower? Obviously, itong parabola. Yung y equals x squared. So, x squared. So, therefore, we have y upper is 2x plus 3 minus y lower is x squared dx from aning x1. etong x coordinate na negative 1 to x2 yung x coordinate na 3. From negative 1 to 3. So, madali lang to Power formula lang, right? So, integral ng so, Negative x squared, unahin ko na, plus 2x plus 3, dx from negative 1 to 3. So, integrate term by term. Integral ng negative x squared is, is negative x cubed over 3. Integral ng 2x is 2x squared over 2. Or cancel yung 2x squared na lang. Plus, integral ng 3 is 3x. Evaluated from negative 1 to 3. So, substitute si 3. Negative 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 squared, plus 3 times 3, minus quantity, substitute si negative 1, negative of negative 1 cubed over 3, plus negative 1 squared, plus 3 times negative 1. Okay, so ilan to? Ito ay negative 9, right? Plus 9, plus 9, minus, ito ay positive 1 third, Plus 1 minus 3. So, ilan to? 9 minus 1 third plus 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So, negative 2 dahil may negative pa distribute positive 2. So, 9 plus 2 is 11 minus 1 third. 11 minus 1 third is? So, parang 33 minus 1 over 3 or 32 over 3. So, ito si A. A pa lang to. So, hanapin muna natin yung x bar using this formula. So, x bar is equal to integral. 
So, ano yung XC natin kapag vertical strip? Base dun sa formula, X lang, right? So, we have X sub C as X. And then, yung DA, equal lang din dito sa Y upper minus Y lower DX. Which is, ano ba yung nakuha natin kanina? Itong negative X squared plus 2X plus 3. So, times negative X squared plus 2X plus 3 dx, then same limit of integration from x1 to x2, which is negative 1 to 3 then Negative 1 to 3. Okay? So, pag in-integrate natin to, so distribute lang muna natin tong x magiging integral of negative x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x dx from negative 1 to 3. So, power formula lang then Integrate natin term by term. We have integral ng negative x cubed is negative x to the 4th over 4 plus integral ng 2x squared is 2 times x cubed over 3 plus integral ng 3x is 3x squared over 2. Then evaluate from the lower upper limit na negative 1 to 3. So substitute po na natin yung 3 sa mga x. So negative 3 to the 4th over 4 plus 2 times 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 times 3 squared over 2 minus quantity substitute naman natin yung negative 1 sa mga x so negative of negative 1 to the 4th over 4 plus 2 times negative 1 cube over 3 plus 3 times negative 1 squared over 2 so simplify natin so negative 3 to the 4th is negative 81 over 4 plus 3 cube is 27 times 2 54 over 3. But 54 over 3 is exact right 18. Plus, 3 times 3 squared is parang 3 cube or 27 over 2. Minus, so negative 1 to the 4th is positive 1. Tapos may negative, negative 1 fourth. Plus, so 2 times negative 1 cube is negative 1 times 2, negative 2 over 3. So, minus... 2 thirds plus 3 times negative 1 squared is 1 so 3 times 1 is 3 over 2 3 halves okay so puro mga fractions lang naman to so pwede nyo na itong i-input sa calculus pero pwede nyo rin manumanuhin sa so, pag sinimplify natin ilan nito ito ay equal sa 32 over 3 so therefore ano yung x bar natin yung numerator is 32 over 3 divided by ano yung area natin kanina 32 over 3 then So, 32 over 3. So, 32 over 3 divided by 32 over 3 is equal to 1. So, therefore, yung x bar natin is 1. Next, para naman sa y bar, ang formula natin is ito. Ah, sorry. Dapat ito ay x1 to x2 pa rin, right? Kasi throughout the process, vertical strip tayo. So, y bar is equal to integral of ano yung yc natin. So, base dun sa formula natin kanina, y upper plus y lower over 2. Okay? So, ano ba yung y upper natin? Yung 2x plus 3, right? So, 2x plus 3 plus, ano yung y lower? x squared divided by 2 times dA. So, yung dA natin is same lang din dito. Kanina. Negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 dx. So, times negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 dx. Right? And then, dapat same limit of integration from, ano ba yung limit natin? Negative 1, 2, 3. Okay, negative 1, 2, 3. So, itong constant na 2, igilid ko na lang, 1 half integral ng, so parang ano to, 2x plus 3 plus x squared times 2x plus 3 minus x squared dx from negative 1 to 3. So, pwede natin gawing shortcut dito is parang sum and difference of two same terms to, right? Yung unang term is quantity 2x plus 3 and then yung second term is x squared. So, parang pag sinimplify natin to, 2x plus 3 squared minus x squared squared. Okay, yung formula natin sa algebra. So, para mas madali, mas simplify, 
square of a binomial lang to. 4x square plus plus 12x plus 9 minus x to the 4. Then dx from negative 1 to 3 times 1 half. So, power formula lang uli. Integrate term by term. We have integral ng 4x squared is 4x cubed over 3 plus integral ng 12x is 12x squared over 2 or 12 divided by 2 is 6. Plus, the integral ng 9 is 9x minus integral ng x to the 4th is x to the 5th over 5. Evaluated from negative 1 to 3. Tapos, ito ay may 1 half sa unahan. So, evaluate, substitute C3, we have 1 half times 4 times 3 cube over 3 plus 6 times 3 squared plus 9 times 3 minus 3 to the 5th over 5 minus 1 half. This time, substitute naman si negative 1 sa mga x. So, 4 times negative 1 cube over 3 plus 6 times negative 1 squared plus 9 times negative 1 minus negative 1 to the 5th over 5. So, yun to. 1 half. 4 times 3 cube is what? 108. 108 over 3. But 108 over 3 is exact, right? 36. Plus 6 times 3 squared. So, 6 times 9 is 54. Plus 9 times 3 is 27. Minus 3 to the 5th is what? 243. Over 5. Minus 1 half. So, so, 4 times negative 1 cube is negative 1 times 4, negative 4 thirds. Plus, so, 6 times negative 1 squared, so 6 times negative 1 squared is 1, so 6 times 1 is still 6. Plus, 9 times negative 1 is negative 9, then negative of negative 1 to the 5th over 5 is, so negative 1 fifth, tapos may negative pa is positive 1 fifth. Okay? So, mga constant lang naman to, tsaka fraction, Gamit na lang ulit tayo ng calculator. Pag sinolve natin to, anong makukuha nating sagot? 544 over 15. Right? So, so therefore, yung y bar natin is yung numerator is itong 544 over 15 over yung area natin. Ano yung area natin kanina? 32 over 3, right? So, 32 over 3. So, ano yung... 544 over 15 divided by 32 over 3. 17 over 5. So, therefore, ito yung y bar or yung y coordinate ng ating centroid. So, yung pinaka centroid natin is may coordinate na 1, 17 over 5. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Centroid of a Plain Area. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.